Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to calculate three weeks rolling total in Power BI. Let me switch to the computer for the demo. Let me show you data table first. So this is a date dimension table and you can see here single column and continuous date. Now let me show you another table, sales data table. And here you can see so many columns. And here you can see sales date and here you can see order quantity so i want a uh, three weeks rolling total on order quantity okay now let me show you relationship tab and here you can see one to many relationship between date dimension table and sales data table and here you can see the date column and here you in the sales data table you can see sales date column okay now i will make uh, some modification in date dimension table first i will add a uh, one new column and let me zoom in so i will say week number week number and i will here i will use a week number function and a date date so this will return a week number and but i will join with year and i will use a year function and date dim date so as you can see the week number is joined with year now i will select this column and from here data type i will change as a whole number so now this week number is numeric i will add a one more column and here i will say week and i will say week wk dash and i will join with week number function week number date dim date and week number function close i and again i will join with dash and year function so date dim date so as you can see here wk dash one week number and year now i will select this column week column and i will go to the sort by column and here i will select a week number so now this week is select is sorted on the week number now we will add a major to calculate three weeks ruling so i'll right click and i will click on new major and here i will say three weeks total okay. I'll use a calculate function calculate sum of sales data and order quantity okay I will close the sum bracket comma now in the next line I will use date in dates in period function and I will say date dimension date comma max of date dim date okay so basically date dates in period function return a date between two date starting from here and the max date comma here I will use a interval. So I will say minus 21 what days. So why I use a minus 21? Because three weeks will be a seven multiplied by three is a 21 days. Now I will close this. Now my major is ready. So I will add a one visual here, line chart. And in the line chart, 
I will add a week from date dimension table, the newly added, newly created column. And from the sales data, I will use a three weeks rolling total. And let me enable a data label. So this is the three weeks rolling total. Now let me validate whether it is right or wrong. So now I will convert this visual into a table visual as you can see here. And let me zoom in. Okay. Now the first week, one let me add a sum of order quantity. Sum of order quantity. So as you can see the first week sum of order quantity was 199. So three weeks rolling it will come 199. Now in the second week the order quantity was 260. But here is 459. How? Let me bring the calculator. So 199, 199 plus 260 equal to 459. Here you can see 459. Now the third week, what is going to be happen? 199 plus 260 plus 255. So let me add 255. So 714. Now what will happen in the fourth week? So 260 plus 255 and 341 will be 856. Let us calculate 260 plus 255 plus 341. Okay, equal to. So as you can see here, 856 and so on. That's all for this video and I request you to please subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.